really going on? Are you for real right now? What's really going on? And this is crazy. Hello. Oh. Hi. <laughs> My name is Taylor Curtis. I teach psychology. My name is Maha Slasi. I teach sociology. Okay. Hi. You kind of called us. I'm sure you didn't realize that. But we see you had a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Tell me about it. What happened? I don't know, a lot of crazy stuff. I, some guy was up against the wall, all in my space. Some girl, she took my food. I don't know what that was about. And then some guy just laid here. I don't know why he was passed mm. out. That's crazy. That's the type of stuff we say is weird. Yeah. Yeah, very weird. But the question is, what really makes it weird? What makes it different from the norm? I don't know. You see, society tells us what is normal. And they don't always tell us by putting it in a book. It's like unwritten rules. When we get on the elevator, we know we're supposed to be quiet, stay tucked to yourself. Or if you got my cell phone. And look up so you can watch the, the numbers pass by as you go to different floors. But in reality, nobody told you that's what you had to do or that's how you had to behave. But society has perpetuated it so much through what we see, through what we hear, that it's become normal. Hmm. See, how, how norms work is that norms are how we form agreements upon what we want to do, how we want to say, how we want to speak. And so, as, as Taylor said, nobody taught, taught you how to get into the elevator, but you've observed other people getting into the elevator. And then through that, we learned our normal behavior that it's, it's to be expected of, of each other in a society. And every society has a different way, a different expectations of how we're supposed to treat and, and be amongst each other. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should show you some more. Okay. I think so. Hold on. Hold on tight. <coughs> you okay? Whew. Yeah, I'm good, I guess. Uh, good. Give sex. Just breathe, relax, you're this, safe. Okay, this is weird. So we said that our societies all have social norms, these ideas that are how we're supposed to act and how we're supposed to behave, but they're not written anywhere. And each norm depends on the culture. Right, so culture is how we get our norms and our values or expectations for society, how we want to treat each other, how we want to see and be around each other, um, what kind of things we think are important. All these things are comprised culture. It could be, you know, your music. A lot of things based off of location that are common to that location. For example. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop that. <laughs> in, in Ethiopia, it's a collectivist culture. And so it's all about community. It's all about how we share and and we are amongst each other. For instance, we eat at a round table and we eat in jar. Then we eat it in a circle because everybody's equal and everybody's, uh, we share communal meals. And so we all eat from one large uh, plate, you know what I mean, to show that we're all community and that we're all equal. I've got another example. Come on. So I practice Kung Fu and what I've learned about the Chinese culture is that it's a lot of respect. They're another collectivistic culture, but it's very, very centered around respect. So when we sit at the table with someone who's an elder or someone who's an authority figure above us, like our master, our Sifu, we are not allowed to actually eat or drink from anything at the table until the elder does first. I think okay. we can show you something else too. All right, oh man. <laughs> oh. You're getting better at this. Yeah, you'll get used to it after a while. I guess. Yep. So in Latino cultures, again, another very collectivistic community, Latino cultures are very, very, very t 
touchy-feely and the concept of personal space is very different than that of American culture. In a Latino culture, being very close to you is a good thing and being able to touch you while I talk is pretty normal. In fact, when I greet you, I might even <laughs> on the side of your cheek. Not actual kisses, it's more like air kisses. But in American culture, people are like, back away, I need my bubble. We're gonna take you back to America, okay? Just, just hold on. All right. Mm -hmm. See, it wasn't that bad. Uh, so now we're back in, in America. Uh, and, and one social norm that is kind of interesting, right, is how we greet each other. Have you ever noticed that when someone comes by, they say, hey, how you doing? How do you respond? Good. Good? How well, are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. Now, are you always good when you say that you're good? Well, not always, but yeah, not yeah, always. Exactly, because the social norm is that that's your, your polite way to say, I'm good, how are you? Then I say, oh, I'm fine. And then we go our separate ways, right? So the norm is not having a meaningful conversation to really know what's happening with you and what's happening with me. In fact, if you gave me a whole story, I might be like, uh, I didn't really want to hear that. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just being nice, yeah. right? So, right. so uh, that, that is a norm that we, we have in this culture. Yeah. So now you can understand that what you saw in the elevator might have been weird to you because it didn't fit what you expected from social norms. Exactly. But you never know what somebody else's culture may be or what their norms might have been growing up. That makes more sense. I Good. think we did it again. Yep. Job well done. Squad. Squad. I mean, I get all that, but I still like my personal space. Hmm. What's really going on?